Puglia is uh, the heel of Italy's boot in the southeast. And I think it has such a charm because even with all the tourism, most of the towns still feel like they did 20, 40, 60 years ago. They call it the greenhouse of Italy. Wonderfully rich in food, people, and it just feels like what you imagine Italy to be. We found this uh, house from the 18th century here in Puglia that we have renovated uh, for Australian clients. They come usually about three months of the year uh, during the summer which is the Australian winter. They are both sun lovers and they want to escape. It's very strange to find a building like this in Puglia. Because they didn't want a huge house, but it feels important with the arches, with the ceilings, the shape and size and dialogue that it has with the countryside. Quite rare. And it was really abandoned. There was only soil on the floors. There was no foundations. We had to peel off all the plaster from the inside because it was all full of damp, a shell and nothing much more. But when we started to strip back the paint, we realized how well it was made and how old the stones were. And they were beautiful, what they call lecce, which is a sandstone from Lecce. It's very easy to go too modern on a renovation. So we tried as much as possible to not destroy anything of the history of this house. We have the natural lime plasters inside, which the old houses would have, which gives a character to the walls. And we've used artisans to make the wooden doors and everything like that. We added two bathrooms on the back of the house and the garage we made into a kitchen, which are within the style, so actually they don't feel like they've been added on at all. We respectfully opened up windows in here. And I think when light comes into a building, you feel part of the outside. You can enjoy the daytime without leaving the building. When the stone floor is a local stone, when the plaster has been made locally when the artisans are local. They have a history with this place and these materials have a history. Buildings that are built with this love. People understand it when they come to see the building even if it's not something that's shouting out at you, it makes you feel that it's real. I'm proud that we've done this renovation and it has become a very comfortable house to live in. And they love to invite their friends and spend time. It's very simple, but I feel like a very simple pasta sometimes is the most delicious. And I think in simplicity, you get a certain air of timeless. This house has been here for over 200 years. And I really hope that now that we are looking after the house, that it won't disintegrate and it will stay for another 200, if not many more years after that. <laughs>